Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video is going to concentrate on how to calculate uh, the expected value uh, of the sampling distribution of the difference between two sample means. Okay. So in previous videos uh, we've concentrated on calculating the expected value of a sampling distribution uh, of a single mean uh, and in that particular case so we want to calculate the, the expected value of the difference between two sample means okay so let's assume that we have two separate random variables x and y okay but more importantly uh, let's assume let let x1 x2 true to xn uh, be n randomly selected independent independent observations independent observations observations okay uh, from a population from a population okay uh, with let's say with mean mu of x okay and variance and variance sigma squared of x okay so these n randomly selected observations independent okay have been selected from a particular population that has a mean of mu of x and a variance of sigma squared of x okay now what we know and what we've done in a previous video is we've calculated what the expected value and also what the variance okay, of the sampling distribution would be uh, for the sample mean okay, associated with these particular uh, random selections. Okay? And in particular, in particular okay, uh, we have shown that the expected value okay, of the sample mean Okay, is equal to the population mean that these uh, random selections have been taken from. Okay, and also we have shown that the variance, okay, of this particular sample mean, okay, or of the sample uh, mean, the, the distribution of the sample mean, okay, uh, is equal to the variance of the population that they've been drawn from uh, divided by n. Okay. So let this be our first random variable, okay, and let this these be the characteristics, okay, of the sampling distribution associated with that random variable. So this random variable is the random variable, the random variable x, okay. Its sampling distribution have these two characteristics. Its expected value is mu of x, and its variance is sigma squared of x over n, okay. And in a similar way, let's choose a second random variable. Uh, but let this random variable be independent of this first random variable also. Okay? So let's, let's say let y1, y2, all the way through to yn, uh, also be, this time, be m randomly selected, selected independent observations, independent observations, Okay. Uh, drawn from population, from a population, okay, uh, with mean, with mean, uh, mu of y, and variance, and variance, sigma squared of y. And in a similar fashion, the sampling distribution associated with the sample mean uh, of this variable okay, is going to have a particular expectation and also a particular variance. So in particular, in particular, okay, we know that the expected value of the sampling distribution for the independent variable y uh, is equal to uh, mu of y. Okay, it's an unbiased estimator of the population, uh, the mean of the population that it's been drawn from. Okay, and the variance okay, of the sampling distribution uh, of y bar is equal to the population variance that the variable has been drawn from, uh, divided by the size of the particular sample, which is which is which is m. Okay. Now, what we'd like to calculate, okay, is that when we have these two random variables, this random variable here is y, and this random variable here is x, okay, uh, we'd like to try to understand what the sampling distribution, okay, so we'd like to understand, okay, understand the characteristics, the characteristics, okay, of the sampling distribution of the sampling distribution, 
okay distribution okay associated associated with with I suppose let's say with X minus Y or so I say X bar minus Y bar okay so we'd like to know what the expectation is and what the variance of this particular distribution is going to look like okay so to calculate the expectation okay uh, well what we want to do is we want to calculate the expectation okay of the difference between these two random variables so we'd like to calculate the expectation of X bar minus Y bar okay uh, now we can actually rearrange this particular I suppose this particular difference in here uh, to be equal to this is the expectation of X bar plus uh, it's minus Y bar okay so all we've done here is uh, well plus times minus is going to give us a negative so this is this particular I suppose term in here is identical to this term here now we also know that X and Y as random variables are independent of each other that's an assumption that we're making here uh, so actually this particular distribution that we're going to be building yeah is a distribution associated with uh, a, a, a difference between two independent variables okay uh, so what we have now is we have the sum of two expectations they're independent so that's the same as the sum of the individual expectations so this is going to be the same as the sum of the expected value of X bar plus the expected value of minus Y bar okay uh, now we know because uh, we have a rule that we've already defined in a previous video we have a rule that says that the expectation of a constant times a random variable is the same as the constant times the expectation of the random variable okay so this random variable y bar okay uh, has a constant it's being multiplied by a constant and the constant that's being multiplied by is minus one so we can actually take the minus one outside of the expectation so this now becomes the expectation of x bar minus the expectation of y bar okay so what are these two values well the distribution okay that this but this particular random selection has been drawn from okay uh, that allows us to calculate the X bar okay uh, has a mean of mu of X its expectation is mu of X okay and in a similar way the the distribution the expected value of Y bar okay uh, has an expected value of mu of Y so this actually just now uh, reduces down to be this here is going to be mu of x minus mu of y okay so what we also have shown sort of here is that the expected value of the difference between uh, two means two sample means okay is an unbiased estimator of the difference between the two population means okay uh, but more importantly what we've actually shown is that the expectation of the difference between two sample means that the expected value of its sampling distribution is actually the same as the difference between the two population means that the two samples have been drawn from okay guys uh, this was Jonathan Lambert with the mathematics development and support center at the National College of Ireland uh, I hope this video was somewhat intuitive in relation to how to calculate the expected value uh, of a sampling distribution uh, for the difference between two sample two sample means okay the next video in this particular series is going to look at how we calculate the variance okay, uh, of this particular sampling distribution Okay, guys, once again, uh, this was Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland, and I hope that this video was somewhat helpful.